hello friends <coughs> now this is continue to part three to our architecture until now we, uh, we have just created a registration form then business layer variables now and also we have completed database and table and now we have to create a SQL queries for that first of all just make the object of the connection string mm, so first of all use the namespaces using system dot data dot SQL client and now make the object of the connection SQL connection sorry in the class over here just copy and paste all the mm, over here just select the employee DB and in that just select the properties and in the properties you will find connection string just control all select it and copy it and just paste over here now whole path will come and now make a function that is uh, public void add insert or void uh, add function now over here make the object of variable v a r i but it will not uh, disap uh, appear because we have to use add into the reference business now also use the namespaces now variables dot opj and now we are going to create a store procedure because uh, in the huge company and enterprise level of the project store procedure are widely used and you also have you seen in mind before a uh, series of making creating accounting project I have used uh, 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 simple SQL queries so now just click over here right click add new store procedures just write down add employee employee parameter user the parameter uh, should be same as in the define into the store procedure into the uh, class file email and it should be string sorry here string are not allowed here variable character and with care we have used 50 just copy and paste Uh, 
ना यूजर नेम ईमेल जेंडर फोन एड्रेस दी डेट ऑफ जॉइनिंग एंड रिमोज इज लास्ट कॉमा And TYP type. And just remove this. Now, in the username, there uh, size of fifty. The size of number of variable characters was fifty. And email also it was fifty. And gender it was, uh, I think eight. And in the phone it was twelve. In address it was uh, 200 and date of birth it was date date time and the type it was uh, um, just In type of it was 15. And also remove this. Now make a SQL query insert. Insert into DBO employee now just first copy and paste all this no, no sorry first we have to define here table name Gender. And in the value just copy and paste all these parameters as yes the sort procedure is completed it is simple just we have to define the parameter for insert query and the name the parameters and the insert query it is simple so just update it update database
so just build it so in the next tutorial we are going to use this store procedure in data layer so thanks for watching have a good day